grand rising abundant rising rich rising loved ones happy moon day this is the that's the day um on the moon day monday we do what we feel intuitively led to do on mondays and i'm grateful that spirit gave me the green light to start talking again we lit um, I kind of want to piggyback on yesterday's live where I was talking. Um... Oh, you want to be on my live? Come on. I know. First off, you don't even have mm. the same picture. Why are you giving on fake, fake pictures yeah. on Instagram? Why you got fake pictures on Instagram? Misty. That's Misty. Huh? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> are you? <laughs> Jamal. What's your name? Okay, and so you. what's up? And you. What you wanted me to ask you for? To do what? Why you want me to add you? <laughs> yeah. Hello? Are you no, going to talk you. or not? You're boring. You're boring. Yeah, see, that was weird. But we pulling up the people bumpers. So, anyways, like I was saying, um, I want to piggyback off of the message that I had yesterday. Um, I really want to talk about surrendering to the wisdom of our body. Because it's really important. If you really give yourself enough time to slow down and really be aware, you can, like, your body will talk to you and tell you and warn you. It will forewarn you about things. It will tell you whether it's something is a green light to go about things. It will really tell you what you need to focus on within yourself. You, you like, really should take time. I didn't point in the day to tap in with yourself in the morning you should be doing like a body scan it's like a reiki scan over yourself you know and just giving yourself enough time in the morning to just like really sit down and breathe in and breathe out and really be able to scan your body how does my head feel how does my hands feel how does like this morning i'm waking up like nasally like this so i know that my intention i made dinner last night my intention is like to eat heavier foods because i kind of want to gain a little bit of weight but with the heavier foods comes like you know it's a mucusy so i know when i eat cheese or i've eaten dairy or something that i know that it's gonna make i know my body enough that the next morning i'm gonna wake up like like mucusy you know what i mean you really have to know your body um scan your body like how does how does women how do your wombs feel because we can really tell you know if our womb is not really sitting well we can tell like does your back hurt do you feel stiffness in your back do you feel stiffness in your in your neck and does your shoulder hurt like your body will tell you and then spiritually like before you go and put like a medicine on top of it really listen to your body and tell you do you need to stretch are you being inflexible about something are you being too rigid about something are you moving enough your body will tell you and then when it comes to people your body will tell you i may give you a tangible example for me um so someone that was in my life i'm currently 
getting them out, moving them out, because I got to release that, that karmic energy because that person never meant me no good. They didn't mean me no good the first time. They didn't mean me no good the second time. So when I ran across this person on social media for the third or fourth time and I got these fucking butterflies in my stomach and I got like, like when I first seen this person, my body, my instinct was to reject this person, delete, like don't let this person, don't come. And, but I did not follow what my body was saying or at that point I couldn't read what the body my body was saying but it was very vis visibly telling me something and so here it is like a year or two later or whatever and my body had already forewarned me about this person's energy if you've done the work on your on your like energy field if, if you know if you've done the work to raise your vibration and someone comes into your vibrational sphere your your like space and they're not aligned trust me the magnetic waves or whatever is going to tell you your body's going to tell you if you wake up and your feet keep hurting you need to figure out why your feet keep hurting you need to like do whatever you got to do like you know what i mean I'm just saying, your body will tell you what it needs to know. If you feel drained about around people, you need to learn to have, you know, better boundaries with some people, or you need to get them out your bound, like out your energy field. If some people come into your life and they motivate you and they make you feel better, and they they motivate you to be one of like be a better person, or you just feel like really light or laughter. Or funny then these are the people that you can that's a go you can keep in like, your life and they're green light and are healthy for you but there's so many ways where like simply listening to ourselves and really just being tapped in with ourselves could kill 99 percent of the things that we put upon ourselves we could like psychically see what's necessarily good for ourselves and we don't really have to consult with others we can you know, be the shortest and judge of our own lives because we're tapped in with our we, we're tapped in with all of us, so we know what to do, you know what I mean? And then there's times where, like, if your body's telling you that you need rest, like, don't ignore that because you can burn yourself out, and then, you know, you could, there's times where people just keep going, 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 thinking that they don't need the rest when rest is really needed. Listen to your body. Like, if you get around people and you feel like you don't want to talk, it's a reason. It's a reason why you're not talking around this person. Your body is like, mm, don't trust this person. And there's a reason why when you get around somebody and you keep talking, because there's something that needs to be said i know there's a lot of the times i meet people and they're like i don't even know why i'm telling you this i know why they're telling me this they don't but obviously they need um obviously it's something that they need to hear from me whether they're saying something so i know as a spiritual teacher they're telling me something or there's something a message that i need to get from this so i've learned to surrender to the wisdom of my body my body will always tell me what I need to know about you, me, my circumstance, what I need to do. If I need to move around, it's going to tell me. If I need to slow down, it's going to tell me. If I need to, like, eat healthier, it's going to tell me. If I'm eating too many starches, too many, too many heavy foods, everything, my body, I'm so tapped in, it's going to tell me. So... I just want to be an advocate and to talk about how to use the wisdom of your body to move around this matrix. Giving yourself enough time in the morning to scan your body. Today, off top, the only thing that I feel is my nose because I'm eating. I'm, I ate pasta last night. I use cheese in there. I know I'm really not supposed to eat cheese and dairy. When I do that, get a little mucusy. 
it's showing up see but i know that i was prepared for that i wanted to eat so but really being tuned into your body will save you so much heartache so much money if you get an uneasy feeling before you go somewhere or your thought process is to not do that listen to your body it could save you it could be like a safety thing for you you know what i mean like we all are but we're all powerful we all could have special gifts we just have to be able to tap into them and listening to your body is one of them understanding that if you get energy from some people you might not they might take it away then you know that the people who take your energy you got to have boundaries so you got to see them sometimes not all the time but the people who give you energy go for it if if you have plans to go somewhere and your thought process is mm, maybe not always follow your first mind because that will save you so much time that is your body trying to tell you if you wake up and you have aches and pains before you go to the doctor really see what's wrong like are you like like i said like if your back hurts are you being like uh rigid about something it's always something to think about you know what i mean so have a great morning stop scan your body see how it feels right now and then move accordingly okay have a great day i'm gonna go blow my nose because that's what i need to do <laughs> so have a great day i love you and let's grow